In our last video, we started to take a look at our data source methods. We're going to take a closer look at these three data source methods that are not commented out. These are responsible for telling the UI table view what to show. There are two incomplete implementation warnings here. So we see this one and this one. This is just Apple telling us that it did most of the work for us, but it just needs a little additional information that is specific to our application. This is because by default, Apple doesn't know how many sections and rows we want inside of our table view. To fix this warning, let's return one in the sections. So we're gonna say number of sections in table view is equal to one. And we're also going to return three rows. So let's say that the number of rows in our section, now that we have one section, is gonna be equal to three. Let's also look at the method table view uh, self a row at index path. For the first line of code, we see static and a string cell identifier cell. We'll talk about what this means in a future video. For now, we're going to focus on this line of code here that's class name UI table view cell. We create a variable named cell. And then we have this method that's called dq reusable cell with identifier. This method attempts to dq a cell with an identifier and then return it. What does this mean? Well, instead of creating a cell for how many ce however many cells we have in our application, to save memory, it will create only enough to fit on the screen. Whenever you scroll down, instead of creating an entirely new cell, it just reconfigures an old cell and updates the cell's view information. This is very efficient, especially if you have 5,000 cells in your table view. Well, under the commented configure cell, we can do whatever we want to the cell. So let's do something simple. We'll write cell dot text label dot text is equal to we'll say whoa my first table view. The default cell of class UI table view cell comes with a default label on it. This label is declared in the UI table view cell as a property with a variable name of text label. Remember that labels have a text property that we can set equal to an NS string. Thus, we're setting the text labels text to a string object, created using literals as we've seen before. Let's try running our application. So I'm going to switch this to iPhone Retina 4 inch. And we'll run our application. And we're going to get a crash in just a second because there's one more step we didn't do. But I want to show you what the error looks like. So if you come across it, you'll be familiar with it. So there goes our simulator and it's going to open up our console in just a second with an error and I'm going to go ahead and enlarge this uh, console area and you generally want to look at the top when you get these errors because the most uh, usable and readable information is here and we see something called uncaught exception uh, reason unable to queue a cell with identifier cell and it says must register a nib or a class with the identifier or connect a prototype cell in the storyboard. Well, we're going to do the second thing, and that's we're going to connect a prototype cell in the storyboard. And we also get this hint that we're using this thing, this cell identifier. So let's go back to our folder navigator, our project navigator, and we're going to go over to the storyboard. And I'm going to scroll up here, and I'm going to select my prototype cell. And what we need to do now is we need to give our cell a reuse identifier. So go to the Attributes Inspector with your cell selected, and we're going to type cell into the identifier. And what this does is it matches up to that line of code. So we'll go back to OW outer space view controller dot m file, and we see that static and a string cell identifier is equal to cell. So if I change this to something else, I would have to make sure my storyboard that my identifier was the same thing. So let's go ahead and run our application again. And we'll be able to see that all of our cells now print out to our simulator. So we see three cells with, whoa, my first table view.